Today I'm going to make some scrolling thumbnails. Now like I've been doing, I've been starting ahead of time so you don't have to go through this. I made a bunch of rectangles that are standing in for my thumbnails. I can easily put any thumbnail I want in that. They're all gray, they're all lined up evenly. I also added the, the script from the CDN for jQuery and I got that by going over here to the jQuery CDN. I copied this right here and and I pasted it in and said okay. So that added the script. That's absolutely essential. If you don't have it, it won't work. So let's work on this a little bit. Let's make these first three rectangles a different color. Uh, let's see. You know, like gray is like totally boring. Let's go for a nice green. Now let's grab these other ones and let's make those a nice, um, we'll make those a, a blue, a nice blue. And I'm going to select all of them to make sure they're even. So I'll go modify, distribute, horizontal centers. Yep, they're all even. So now that I've got them all selected, I'm going to turn them into a symbol. This is easy. Don't panic. So go modify, convert to symbol, and I'm going to main mine thumbs. There you go. Okay, done. So far so good, right? So now I'm going to grab another rectangle, and um, I'm going to change the color. Right now I'll just put it back to that default um, gray. And I am going to drag a rectangle over those top three takes a second those top three thumbnails just like that and I'm going to go over here and grab my thumbs and I'm going to drop it right on that rectangle so it's inside of it and I can adjust this a little move it around get it you know just right I don't want that thing gray so I'm going to click it and I'm going to change it from gray to transparent there you go it looks a lot better right and I'm going to change it from visible to hidden. As soon as I did that, note that those three other rectangles disappeared. My other thumbnails cannot be seen. So now all I have to do is make it so it'll scroll. So let's add a button. I'm just going to use the text button. So I'm going to click and I'll do uh, shift comma. And that'll be my forward button. And I'm going to just line it up from a little anally retentive so I gotta make it just so and I'll add some coding to it I can get to the coding but simply by coming over here click in the open actions and I'll move this up plus click what do we want to do what we're actually gonna make scroll is the rectangle too not the thumbnails now, I know that doesn't sound right but trust me so we're talking to edge sym dot dollar sign open parentheses open double quotes close double quotes close parentheses dot now here's why you needed to add the script we're going to use the property animate okay open parentheses open curly brace open double quote close double quote colon open clo double quote close double quote curly brace parentheses semicolon that'll make it tired <laughs> so as I said the thing that we want to affect is over here what we have our thumbnails nested in is rectangle 2 remember it has to be spelled exactly the same way so rectangle 2 okay the next property we need to add to this animate so it'll look like it's doing something is we need to add scroll S C R O L L left and the distance we want to go now you can do three thumbnails I'm just gonna do one so I'm gonna say plus equals uh, I'm guessing about hundred and fifty pixels and that's it so let's test it so if I click this button, there you go. 
we move forward. Now 150 probably wasn't the best choice and I can do a little better than that. So first off it helps to know how big these are. And these are 110 and I'm guessing the gaps about 30 and yeah, maybe 20. Let's try 20. So what we can do is we can come back here and we can make adjustments and you'll have to adjust it yourself because everybody has a different thing. So let's say 110, let's say 130. This is how easy this is to change. Click 130, click, click. And like I said, you'll you'll tweak it. Now, we need to go backwards as well. So all I'm going to do is click my arrow button. I'll hold my option key and drag straight over. Line them up. Mm, you know, somewhere around there, I guess. Rotate it. It's nice to have this rotating property right over here. We'll make that 180. Just flips it around. And now we can, because we did the option when we built it, it actually uh, copied the tech, the uh, coding as well. So we'll just make this minus. And now when I test it, uh, I should be able to make it go back and forth. There's one other thing I would highly re recommend doing is if you click these, go and change the cursor from auto to the finger. And again, click over here and we go auto to the finger. Let's test. Command return. Forward. Back. Is that cool or what? 